Hello and welcome back to Money Mentor, where today we are going to uh, go through a recent blog where we're going to talk about five tips on how to negotiate a house price or a house price purchase, um, it should be. So if you're in the middle of buying or selling a home at the moment, which uh, a lot of people are, certainly in the UK um, and no doubt over um, the pond to the USA, then these tips could be quite handy. So first of all, um, it pretty much goes without saying, but a lot of people are too embarrassed to do it. Don't accept the first offer, whether you're making the offer or whether you're receiving the offer. Um, either way, uh, most people know these are just really the, the opening prices or the opening gambits. Nobody goes in at their full and final uh, initially. So if you suddenly bite the hand off at somebody who's not making you an offer or accept the other way around, then you're probably not getting the best value that you could do for your property at the time. Next tip there, it says try to negotiate through a third party. Um, some people might be embarrassed to um, reject um, and counter offer with the uh, the other side, whether it's the vendor or the, the other side. Um, so they like to go through third parties, whether that third party is an estate agent or whether that third party is um, some sort of other independent uh, third party, um, that, that's absolutely fine. Um, it's probably best not to go through friends or family. Uh, you should have a professional, uh, but certainly if you're not, um, you're not confident enough to negotiate it yourself, use the th third party, which will be your estate agent in the UK or realtor in the USA. Uh, consider getting an independent valuation. Well, that's um, certainly a fair point. If, if um, you, you know, if if one of the parties wants more or, or less than you actually think it's worth, then if you get an independent valuation from an expert, effectively who who does this in their day job, then if somebody's asking for two hundred thousand pounds or dollars, and the independent valuation comes back at one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, then you've actually got some firm evidence of why you don't want to pay the 200,000 and it should be closer to the 150. Um, it won't always uh, work that way. Obviously in a strong market, um, sellers will want a little bit higher um, and vice versa in a non-sellers um, non environment. Uh, know your market value. That's, uh, that's really quite important. If you've got no idea what prices are in your area or the area that you're buying, you don't know whether you've got a good deal or a bad deal. So take a look, take a look at the trade press, take a look at the property websites, take a look at um, uh, take a look at Zoopla and um, uh, all sorts of other things. So you get a basic idea of what are the property values in your area. Certainly, uh, property values can vary considerably between location, location, uh, county by county and country by country. So I have absolutely no idea what um, a standard four bedroom house in America is actually worth. Um, but I do know how much pretty much down to the tens of thousands of pounds a four bedroom house uh, in the area I live is worth. So that's certainly worth um, getting to know. And of course, um, get everything in writing. So um, once a decision has been made, once you have come, once you've done negotiation and come to a position, then you need to get that um, decision in writing. Certainly, if you go through an estate agent or a realtor, it will be in writing. They will issue the buy and sell um, pre-contract documents to you. If you're um, doing it privately, which is which people do these days, buy privately with third parties, then again, get them to drop you an email, drop you a letter. Um, if that's the way you like it, confirming what the price is before it goes off to the uh, law firms and solicitors um, to conclude. So that's it in a nutshell. That's uh, five quick tips on how to negotiate a house price. So if you are negotiating a house price at the moment, good luck with it. Leave us a comment in the box below uh, as to how it goes and um, good luck.